Well, it's uh, Saturday morning, the 22nd of June, 2013. It's a little bit after 8 a.m. And as you can see, it's still, it's even foggier than yesterday. So, also supposedly today is some marathon in Duluth. So, I didn't get a chance to explore downtown Duluth. Um, and I'm not going to try in this type of, I mean, what are you going to see? about it. So I'm going to get on the road to North Dakota. It's supposed to rain like all, be like this all weekend. So I'm hoping I get away from the fog as I get away from Lake Superior. Unfortunately, my batteries just died. And uh, back there, a whole family of deer came running out. And I beat the horn and one, went across, one was in the middle of the road. And the others scooted off as these idiots kept going like at full speed. Now I know why deer get run over. Um, but I am uh, about 20 miles outside of Duluth and as you see the fog has dissipated. Thank goodness. Because uh, it got down to visibility of just a few hundred feet. And yesterday I got, um, I think I got 40 miles a gallon on a full tank which is incredible. And I was doing, you know, these speeds, but I'm not in any hurry. Um, I'm just enjoying looking around and checking out wildlife. I have my boots so I can go into the muck. And I bought some blueberries and some strawberries with me. I've got a full tank of gas. Got my windbreaker so I think I'm all set so hopefully I do have to get an oil change because I'm over 3,000 miles on the trip now and uh, these cars their manuals will say 5,000 mile oil change but I still do every three so welcome to Floodwood Minnesota population 528 souls carvings. They have a Savannah Portage. They have a burger house. You can go get the highway. Gas is three forty nine. Wow. That's what I paid. Well on my way to North Dakota from Minnesota. Got the train tracks. Marshland. You can see some geese out there with their babies. Maybe you can see it. I haven't seen any other deer since that incident. Uh, well, I think I'm going to be on a version of this type of road the whole way. This is the type of road I like. I can just peg my foot. Every so often you come into a small little town. Welcome to Grand Rapids, Minnesota. According to the sign uh, coming into town, this is the birthplace of Judy Garland. So, this said that it's a town of 10,600 people. So, it's Saturday, approximately 10 a.m. So, I'm thinking maybe there's a uh, quick oil change place open. If so, I'll stop and get my oil changed. If not, well, we'll get it done later. These little towns, they don't mess around, man. They put it down to 25 to 30 miles an hour going through town. It's hilarious. I get the subway, though. And good that my map quest is working. A lot of times I get out here and it doesn't work. Firewoods. 
stacked up for the winter. Wow. Okay, coming up to the intersection of two and six. Most of the time, if you're paying attention, you can avoid these things, but uh, these cars don't even slow down. I just passed through a town called, I think, Deep River. And what do you know? A casino, White Oak Casino, in the intersection of 46 and 2. I'm grateful I don't have that addiction. God. And only 53 miles to Bimini Okay. We'll have to stop and ask them how to pronounce their name. It's 10.30 in the morning. You'll see I'm riding into that storm up ahead. You can see it getting dark. It feels like it's 8 o'clock at night, sunlight-wise. Look at a guy with, riding with his legs down. You see it? I suppose you got to stretch out, but that's why I pull over. Yeah, you can tip the wrong way, boom. A lot of res signs that say resorts. They point it down. At least some Paved, maybe. A lot of the down, like, yeah, I see dirt roads. Well, you figure they have such a long winter. You know, hard pack dirt road is probably just as effective as this road. As long as it doesn't get muddy. But if it's frozen, then it's relatively rut free. In the Amish in Minnesota, close to the North Dakota border, and uh, those were Amish, or something like it, they had a bake sale, pretty cool. I should have stopped, but I didn't want to cross over to the other side of the road. Oh, excuse me. Well, I stopped at Oak Lake, Minnesota, which is right near the intersection of 59 and 2. And uh, it's, according to the map inside, it's 50 miles to East Grand Forks, Minnesota, which is across the border right there to Grand Forks, North Dakota. So, I think I'm going to wait to grab some lunch when I cross into North Dakota. I just have a vision of this diner with this matronly old woman behind the counter, serving a country meal. I just picture that more in North Dakota than uh, Minnesota. But, I've never been to North Dakota. And that will be state number 49. And after number 49, I go up to Alaska, that will be number 50. And I will have seen all the states. Getting close to the border between North Dakota and Minnesota. So I'm guessing I'm uh, probably seven miles or less. Well, I think I'm about to cross into North Dakota. This will be state number 49, baby. Look at those harvesters. Wow. Those are just the bins. Oh, 
supposedly, you know, the Air Force controls the ICBMs, and supposedly they're all through the Midwest and up in the Dakotas. These guys are passing me like I'm standing still. The speed limit here is 70 miles an hour. And out in Montana, I think it's unlimited the speed limit. There's no speed limit. It's a blast wall, so tight. Stopped at a rest area, off two. What a beautiful evening.
may not. And I looked online, and the cheapest gas for the rest of the time in this state is up here. 374 a gallon. Everybody else in town is 379. And uh, quite developed, isn't it? So I was on business to uh, two is coming through here as well. Good morning. I am in uh, Minot, North Dakota. It's about 7 in the morning on Sunday, 23rd of June, 2013, at the Walmart. And uh, I arrived last night, went in, got it, and then I noticed that they had, uh, they mentioned oil changes, so I went over to the auto center down here. 25, 9.30, and I said to the, the people, I said, hey, can I get an oil change? Then their auto center closed at 10. The woman went back then. She was back there a good five minutes. I think she was arguing with the guy. She came back and said, no, he can't do it. Not enough time. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, they don't open till noon on Sunday. I want to be out of here in the morning. And where I'm going, I doubt there's any oil change places. I'm already at 3,500 miles. So I said, can you get the manager, please? And waited five minutes. The manager didn't show up. And I said, and I went outside, and I went into the garage. And I went up to the guy. And there's two guys just shooting the shit. And I looked to the older dude, and I go, hey, uh, I don't remember my exact words, but I was very friendly. I said, hey, how you doing? I said, I just came into town. I'm from the East Coast. I said, I'm passing through. I said, uh, I need to get be on my way. And I said, uh, I really need to get an oil change. I said, that would help me out a great deal if you can do that. And he goes, well, we're not supposed to take them after 9.30. And I said, well, technically I was here at 9.28. He goes, oh, in that case, uh, I guess... I guess we can do it. Tell the girl to write you up. And we'll bring it in. And, uh, they did it. Oh. Hi. Is this store closed or open? Huh? Is this store closed or open? It's closed. Yeah, that's what... That's crazy. They were open 24 hours. I thought that was just for liquor. Uh, I, really, I don't know why they closed it down, but yeah. I think they're losing money first. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the old blue laws, it's because of uh, religious reasons. I think so. Yeah. I'm pretty sure so you can go to church in the morning. Yeah. But in this country, that doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Have a good day.